My name is Twinkle Banerjee and this project is called The Characters of Memorial Park. The first photo that I took, it was just two people having a picnic in the golden hour where the sun was just setting. And that was the first photo, no editing, nothing, no retouching. It's just whatever I took, the first one, and that kind of got a lot of attention and somebody picked it up in New York and then it ended up getting exhibited there. Getting to represent a story from Calgary in that level, I think New York is the center, you know, in a lot of ways, a, a big cultural hub and ICP is huge and they were getting photographs from, you know, Norway and then India and Mexico, all over the world. So to be able to get to represent Calgary uh, in New York, I think that was very exciting, a very proud moment. This happened right in the beginning when the pandemic had just started and, you know, we were under a lockdown. Uh, my mother had just uh, moved from India to visit me. My mom would constantly come and whatever she was seeing in the park, she would tell me these stories all day that, you know, there was a wedding happening or, you know, there were kids dancing and it kind of started to get annoying actually her telling me the story over and over. And eventually I just, you know, picked up her binocular, which was kind of lying around in the house. And I just started uh, to play around with it and see if I could somehow magnify the people that were, you know, coming to the park every day. As I started taking photographs uh, through my mother's binocular and my camera, I, I noticed that you know even though there were two or three stories happening in the park at any given time, by putting them in the center of the, these photographs, each story kind of became important. Things that people were doing, children playing in the park or people having a wedding, each story kind of became important on its own. And this project helped me kind of see people and, and you know them going on about their lives very, very differently. A lot of beautiful romantic moments, a lot of you know beautiful moments with kids and parents and I think you know when you when you photograph people you're photographing human emotions and it doesn't change. I mean hundred years from now people can still relate to those things. These things happen around us all the time and we just never really pay any attention and then the moment you kind of sit and really start to observe how people behave, I mean people are more or less the same. Through doing this project I really saw the diversity of Calgary. I moved here 10 years ago and you know things have definitely changed a lot. We are a lot more diverse population now. It was just my way of kind of documenting something that was happening, you know, documenting the time, the moment and and it just brought me immense amount of happiness. I think we'll survive. I think, you know, when I photograph these people, I think today it's very important what's happening, but I think a few years down the line we'll be looking at it very differently.